Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, I'm Mori Crossing and today we've got two builds in one, well two smaller builds. One of them is Kiki's Bakery from Kiki's Delivery Service, the Ghibli movie, and the second is just a sort of general Japanese style uh, residence service area. Basically I decorate my residence services so that it sort of keeps in with my town theme which is what I've planned to put around my residence services. So let's get right into it. So I start off with my own house and I was looking at some Kiki's Bakery from Kiki's Delivery Service like pictures on the internet. I will put a couple here if you don't know what it looks like just for some inspo and I thought wait this looks fairly European and fairly sort of like old style so I thought I'd just it was something that I knew that you could turn your house into and I was like let's just make it like that and I also didn't realize it went over so much so I've started with the main house being you know the main bit of the bakery and instead of having a sort of area for cars underneath I decided to put the bakery outside the reason I put it outside rather than putting it inside is because the inside of my house is actually going to be the onsen from Spirited Away. Um, I was originally going to put my house there but it wouldn't fit so I put Pico's house there instead and there will be a warp pipe that goes inside my house so there won't be a bakery in there, there will be a giant amount of uh, onsen baths and you know Obaba's place and things like that basically if you haven't seen that video I will link it here and yeah so I will be blocking off the front of this bakery eventually not for now because then I won't be able to get in and out but yeah anyway here I am making the second story and you can see that I'm reusing the same red um, tiled thing <laughs> stall that's the word and we're adding little Gigi there, so cute, and some food items as well. Um, I'm using the same one as my Spirited Away thing and yeah, just basically reusing custom codes because I have four left, I think, four spare ones, and I still have so much more of my island to do and so many different other Ghibli films to sort of reference. So yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be having fun with that. Here I'm deciding which roof to have, whether I want a floating block or to use my good old old fashioned um, loft bed with like desk. Um, so yeah, I still think about that. This was actually during a stream. So if you want to catch me streaming, I stream every Saturday at 9.30 AM uh, Japan, <laughs> US. I'm not only in the US, Japanese time. If you want to ever come along to one of those, we have a good time and you can help influence my speed builds. So here we're just adding a bunch of the food items. You can see I've used some of the new update items. If you're watching this way in the future, there'll be old items now, but right now they're really exciting. We've got mooncakes and the kind of Japanese mochi types, sweets, I think they are. And just adding some of these absolutely stunning umbrella designs. I can't wait to do um, my video of all my custom designs for this island. I think I'm pretty close to finishing and I'll be uploading that video soon. So in the end, me and the chat decided to do this, like give it a chimney and it also like sort of blends in with the house bricks as well. That's what we felt and I really like it. I think it really all melds in very well together. And I'm so happy that this is the front of my house. I cannot tell you, every time I come outside my house, I'm like, oh my God, yes. And as you can see here, we're starting to do some road. It took me a while to decide exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> me just moving cat out the way there. As per usual, the villagers all wanting to talk to me. And you can see Zucker eyeing up those sweets in the corner as well. In the end, I felt like the yellow was too close to the bakery, so I moved it back a little bit. Hello, Meringue. <laughs> In an uh, alpine little dress there. Cute. Anyway, yes, laying down this beautiful, beautiful design. I actually found this design thanks to the lovely Maya. I don't know if you've seen that tour of her island. She uses this all over her island. I really like how sort of worn down this tarmac looks which i feel like it really does uh show like emulate like real roads in japan that's my experience of them anyway 
adding some bushes, some final touches around the edge. I may change some of these a little bit later. I was kind of very much uh, improvising, that's the word, <laughs> improvising. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much the end of this build and we will move on to the second one. Music break. <laughs> this is uh, what I added in between the two um, builds after this will be resident services and here's me making Cat feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway, here we go. I start off by putting a bunch of trees around the edge um, of this resident services. I just really wanted to make it feel enclosed. I guess my kind of inspo for this is a sort of a schoolyard or like a baseball court kind of area, just a sort of place where people hang out and usually play sports, something that has a big fence of some kind. Um, I first off tried the rust coloured bars because most of the rest of my island is fairly rusty and sort of old but new. It's all confusing and <laughs> the opposite of each other but it's fine but yeah in the end I ended up putting the more grey ones so that they went better with this um, grey simple panel it just it's sort of like really made it come together better and also added as you can see um, a lovely hedge at the back as well I just wanted to add as much green as I can to it just so that it feels kind of overgrown here we are you can see me doing it now. <laughs> yeah, so what kind of ideas have you guys done around your resident services? Because I feel like it's a like quite a difficult building to really put in a lot of themes. I was really struggling at the beginning, like trying to work out what I could do in this sort of mainly countryside version of Japan. I just felt that I couldn't think of anything that would fit other than it being in a town. And I did want to do a town. I've seen so many beautiful like sort of countryside towns done in Japan, um, in Japan, <laughs> Japanese countryside towns done in Animal Crossing is what I meant to say. But yeah, so I'm taking some inspo from a lot of my wonderful island tour like creators. They really have helped me like with not necessarily direct inspo, but creative thinking. I don't know how to say that. And I just love the like yellow and these vents. So you will see them all over my town area, just to warn you. Um, and just extending out this bit of road here, I decided it wasn't thick enough, wide enough, it's not thick enough. <laughs> yeah, so I did that. And I was really scared because I realized that I hadn't left myself enough room where I put Kiki. If you can see like it's one further back the kiki part but I think it ends up being fine and also yeah that didn't fit there so I moved that back one the slope I mean um, because behind this I'm going to be adding a lovely sort of uh, spirited away no not spirited away <laughs> oh my god fake fan fake fan here um, the Totoro um, what place where she was waiting for her dad and has the umbrella and is waiting for the bus to come. That's the area I'll do behind here. And I thought this area just needed something. I originally was thinking about like kind of extending the park, but instead I made it sort of wilderness. And here you can see me sort of trying out some things here and there, just adding little bits and pieces. I'm not sure if this is exactly what it will look like because basically I went into my house and this is what was in my house, you know. It wasn't like um, specifically planned out. I didn't buy a bunch of stuff. It was like, this is in my house. So this will work, right? <laughs> and it, to be fair, I like how it turned out. But maybe I will give it a better once over later. Whereas this area, I did think about it. I've made a bunch of mushroom items, which are my fave in the whole game. And even the Mario mushroom items, I feel like can really work very well in this kind of space because they're the, especially the nice green one, maybe not the red one so much, but yeah, just adding bits and pieces here just to fill the space. But yeah, I was thinking about doing a sort of resident services ideas video, maybe, where people submit things again. I did really enjoy seeing so many people's submissions. Let me know if you'd be interested in me doing that. 
in the comments. And here are the final touches. Here we go. Here's the final build. Look at these, look at all of this stuff. I have no idea what I'm gonna put in front of here. I'm kind of tempted to make it one level higher and continue from the left, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, it's all enclosed. You got the lovely KK giving us a performance of, I'm not sure what song that is. Let me know in the comments if you know. Here's the little sort of wild mushroom area to the side. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it looks. It feels very much like it's part of the island now rather than just a sore, like sticking out like a sore thumb. Um, we're going to ex obviously extend this road back here to the Totoro area, as I said before. And behind that's probably going to be like a Princess Mononoke area. Maybe that's the plan anyway. <laughs> but yeah, this um, shop took up a lot more space than I thought it would. So I think that the town's probably going to take up most of this side. And yeah, I'm really happy with how it looks. I'm really happy that it's in front of my house. Just all yay. All yay. Thank you so much to everyone who was in the stream who helped out as well. Okay, so thanks so much for watching my little video. I really appreciate it. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more from me, hit that subscribe button. Also, another button we have down there is the membership button. Thank you so, so much everyone who's joined and become a tea leaf. I really, really appreciate it. It really, really helps out with the channel. Here are my golden tea leaves. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.